journey. Pepper and her family are having breakfast. Oh. What's the matter, Daddy Pig? I need to go on a long journey for work. Can we come too? It's work, Pepper, and it's a long, long way by train. Choo choo! <laughs> Please, can we go? It won't be fun. I'm testing concrete. I need to know the relative density to mass to calculate for voids in the aggregate. I need to know that too. Uh, what does Mummy Pig think? I think it sounds lovely. But it's hundreds of miles away in another country. Please, Daddy Pig. All right. We can all go. Hooray! This is the train station. <laughs> Miss Rabbit is the train driver. All aboard! <laughs> Full steam ahead! Are we nearly there yet? No, Pepper. It's a long journey, so you'll just have to be patient. <sighs> Why not sing a song to pass the time? OK. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, clickety-clickety-clack. I've sung a song. Now are we nearly there? Oh, oh, there's still a long way to go, Peppa. We won't get there until tomorrow morning. But what about bedtime? Where will we sleep? Right here. But this isn't a bedroom, Daddy. Watch this. <laughs> Magic beds. <laughs> and here's where we brush our teeth. A magic bathroom. There's a little basin with little taps. And that's not all. A magic toilet. I wonder what this button is for. Ah. <laughs> Daddy has found the magic shower. <laughs> Hello. Passports, please. Of course. Ah, you are Mr. Pig. The Mr. Pig. You must be coming to test our concrete. Uh, yes. Do you know me? Oh, your work in concrete is famous in our country. Oh, but I have disturbed you. Good night. Uh, good night. It is bedtime. <sighs> night, night, Pepper and George. Night, night, my little piggies. Night, night. Pepper and George are tucked up in their little beds on the train. Clickety-clack, clickety-clack, the train runs on the track. Huff and puff, huff and puff, ba da 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 boop, boop. It is morning and time for breakfast on the train. Good morning. Miss Rabbit, aren't you meant to be driving the train? It's fine. The train runs on rails. It can't get lost. Would you like coffee or orange juice? I'd like both, please. No, coffee or orange juice. You can't have both. I don't think we have to be so strict with the famous Mr. Pig. Coffee and orange juice. Thank you. Excuse me, I am King Alfonso. Could I have a coffee and orange juice too? No, that is impossible. Pepper and her family have arrived at the end of their long train journey. We are honoured to have your visit, Mr. Pig. Thank you. Here is the concrete for you to test. Daddy Pig is an expert at concrete. Hmm. Very good. Hooray! I hope the train journey wasn't too long and tiring. No, it was lovely. What do we do now? My job is done. So we can take the train back home. Oh, goody. We get to sleep on the train again. <laughs> Peppa loves long train journeys. Everyone loves long train journeys. <laughs> Pepper and her friends are watching their favourite television programme, Super Potato. Hoo-ha! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! <laughs> <laughs> I love watching Super Potato! Me too! Super Potato is the best! Hoo-ha! Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. 
Always remember to eat your five. Always remember to eat your five. We've seen this before. I know all the words by heart. Yes, they show the same story again and again and again. Brilliant, isn't it? Yes, and we will remember all of the words forever. Yes, we remember all of the words forever. <laughs> Everyone is so tiny on TV. In real life, they are big. How are they big and tiny? And how do they get in our TV? It's some sort of magic. It's not magic, it's science. Edmund Elephant is a clever clogs. <laughs> Would you all like to see how they make TV? Yes, yes please. OK, let's go to TV land. This is TV Land. Stop! Do you work here? Um, no. Then I'm afraid you can't come in. But we are children and we want to see how TV is made. Oh, in that case, in you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Ooh! Wow! wow. Hello there. Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes. Very good. Follow me. <laughs> Look, it's Super Potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us, us alive. alive. Always remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> Hello. Peppa, it's for you. Peppa, I can see you on TV. <laughs> Am I tiny? Yes, you are tiny. <laughs> this is fun. Can I be on TV again? Of course! Now we've recorded that, you can be on TV every day! Hundreds and hundreds of times! Hooray! <laughs> Peppa loves TV. <laughs> Everyone loves TV. The new house. Daddy Pig is working hard in his workroom. What are you doing, Daddy? I'm building a new house. It's very small. Is it a house for elves and fairies? Oh, oh, no. This is a model. The real house will be much bigger. Ah. And this is a drawing of what needs to be built. I think something is missing, Daddy. There. Pepper has drawn a swing to go outside the house. Perfect. Would you like to visit the new house? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is taking Pepper and George to see the house he is building. Here we are. But, Daddy, there's nothing here. 
that's because the building work hasn't started yet. Digger! Digger! <laughs> Here are Mr Bull and his friends. Mr Bull has come to build the new house. Aren't you building it, Daddy? I've done the hard bit. Mr Bull just has to follow my instructions. Uh... Hello, Mr Pig. What's it to be? Car park? Swimming pool? Rocket station? A house. Can you build it exactly like this, please? But bigger. Mr Pig wants a house. Is it going to be built of straw? Or sticks? Or bricks, Mr Pig? Bricks, please. Good choice. Don't forget the swing. Don't worry, Peppa. We won't. <laughs> <laughs> George wants to help too. OK, George. Could you put a blob of mortar here? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like squelchy mud. Mortar is a very special kind of mud that sticks bricks together. <gasps> Pepper, would you like to lay the first brick? <laughs> yes, please. Well done. I'll do the rest. Bricks must be laid straight and level. See? Line after line. That will take ages. Yes. Will you finish it today? Oh, no. You can't build a house in a day. It'll be finished tomorrow. Good. See you tomorrow, Mr Bull. Bye-bye. Bye. George put the sticky mud down. And I put the brick on top. Mm. That all sounds very exciting. Now, close your eyes and go to sleep. <laughs> it is morning. Pepper and George cannot wait to see the new house. It's finished! <laughs> Almost finished. It just needs to be inspected. Mr Rabbit is the building inspector. Hmm. Very good. But wait, it's not finished. What? You forgot the swing. Moo! Oh, no, we didn't. <laughs> Thank you, Mr Bull. Now it's all ready for our new neighbours to move in. Neighbours? Yes, Peppa. We've got new neighbours. Mr Wolf and his family are moving into their new home. Oh, look! Little piggies. Hello, I'm Wendy Wolf. I'm Peppa Pig. <laughs> Thank you for building our house, Mr Pig. What's it made of? Straw? Sticks? It's made of bricks. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll... Hmm, that is strong. What's your own house made of, Mr Pig? Bricks. So don't even think about it. Oh, a swing. That was my idea. It's very good. You have a go. Can you push me? No. I'll huff and puff you instead. <gasps> <laughs> It is very early on Christmas morning. Peppa and her family are staying at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. George, wake up! <laughs> Santa's been! <laughs> Bubble mix! <laughs> Comets! And tangerines! <laughs> Mummy! Daddy! It's Christmas! Hey, what? It's too early, Peppa. Go and say Happy Christmas to Granny and Grandpa. <laughs> Granny! Grandpa! Ah! Don't panic! All hands on deck! It's Christmas! It's three o'clock in the morning. But Santa's been. Can we see if he's still here? No, Santa's not here. Look, the carrot, drink and mince pie have gone. He's only left crumbs. Yes, Santa likes a good mince pie. And there are big presents under the tree. <sniffs> I asked Santa for a doll. Can we open them now? We will open the big presents after Christmas lunch. Oh, goody. 
Pepper and her family are having Christmas lunch. Let's pull the crackers. There are paper hats inside. And party trumpets. <laughs> and jokes. What wobbles in the sky? I don't know. A jellycopter. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> This Christmas pudding is delicious. Peppa and George helped me make it. We did the stirring. Did you make a wish, Peppa? Yes, I wished for... Don't tell us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's open the presents. Yippee! This one is for George. <laughs> it is a racing car set. <laughs> this looks a bit complicated. Let me see. This goes here, and that goes there, and this goes there. Let's race! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Daddy and Grandpa are enjoying playing racing cars. Isn't that George's present? <laughs> I think George is quite happy playing with the box. <laughs> <laughs> this is your present, Daddy Pig. Ah, socks. And I've got socks. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, the last present must be for... Me! I got Santa for a doll that walks and talks and closes its eyes when it goes to sleep. Oh, Birdseed. Birdseed. That present is for Polly Parrot. But it was the last one. Santa has forgotten me. Hello? <laughs> Can I talk to Peppa, please? Peppa, it's Susie Sheep. Hello, Susie. Did you get your doll? No. I got mine. It cries and laughs and closes its eyes and everything. Santa's giving you my doll. No, the label says for Susie Sheep. <laughs> then Santa has forgotten me. Ho, ho, ho! Santa is on his way home. That's the last of this year's toys delivered. Oh, what's this at the bottom of my sack? Santa can't have forgotten you. I have been a good piggy, haven't I? Ho, ho, ho! Santa! Uh, hello. He came down our chimney. Of course he did, Granny. Here's your present, Peppa. Sorry it's a bit late. <laughs> My doll! Thank you, Santa. Would you like some Christmas pudding? George and I stirred it and made wishes. Mmm, yummy. And I wish that Santa would visit us on Christmas Day. And you did. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs>
And numbers. One, two, three. I'm afraid we might break it by pressing the wrong button. <laughs> don't worry, you can't break it. Just don't feed it milk or biscuits or jelly. <laughs> <laughs> the best thing it does is Happy Mrs Chicken. <laughs> when you press this button, she lays an egg. <laughs> I am very good at it, but George is the best. <laughs> That's fun! <laughs> uh, perhaps we uh, should keep the computer, Granny Pig. Goodbye! Bye-bye! Uh, shall we do some work on the computer, Granny Pig? Yes! Let's do some numbers and letters. Pepper and her family are having lunch. I've given my old computer to Granny and Grandpa. That's nice. I wonder how they're getting on with it. Hello, Peppa Pig speaking. Ah, uh, Peppa, I need to ask a question about the computer. It's Grandpa. He's broken the computer. What's the problem with the computer, Grandpa Pig? It's full of eggs. Eggs? Happy Mrs Chicken won't lay any more eggs. I'm broken. Turn the computer off. Now turn it back on again. Did that fix it? I am very broken. That doesn't sound good. Maybe it can't be mended. We'll come round and pick it up. Granny, we're here to take the computer back. Oh! Grandpa Pig has taken it to his shed. There! That should do it. I am mended. Hooray! <laughs> My grandpa is the best at mending things. Was it very hard to mend? Not at all. I found I had this book, How Computers Work. So you don't want us to take the computer away now? No, I need it for important work. For letter and number work? <laughs> no, to beat Granny Pig's Happy Mrs Chicken score. I laid 4,020 eggs. Wow! wow. So, I've got some work to do, catching up. <laughs> Mysteries Pepper and her family are watching their favourite television programme, Detective Potato. I am Detective Potato, the world-famous detective. Ooh! Please help me, Mr Detective. I cannot find my flower anywhere. Hmm. Your flower is on the top of your head. Oh, thank you, Mr. Detective. <laughs> that was easy. I could do that. <laughs> I'm sure you could, Pepper. Daddy, when I grow up, I want to be a famous detective. <laughs> George wants to be a detective, too. If you're going to be detectives, you'll each need a hat. Detectives always wear hats. <laughs> now you look like two proper detectives. And we need one of those funny things that makes everything look big. A magnifying glass. I think we've got one in the kitchen drawer. Here we are. A real magnifying glass. Wow! How does it work? You hold it in front of things and they look bigger. The magnifying glass makes the little fish look big. Can I have a go? Wow! The magnifying glass makes George's eyes look very big. <laughs> <laughs> now what you detectives need is a mystery to solve. Daddy, what's a miss story? A mystery is something detectives are good at sorting out. <laughs> like finding things that are lost. I know. We can find George's toy dinosaur. <laughs> That's always getting lost. Dinosaur. <laughs> Mr Dinosaur is not lost. Oh. <laughs> what about your glasses, Daddy? You're always losing them. Oh, not today. I'm wearing my glasses. It's not fair. There aren't any missed stories. 
<laughs> Would you like me to make you a mystery? Yes, please. <laughs> Daddy Pig is going to make a mystery. Now, what's on the table? The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. <laughs> That's right. Now look very hard and try to remember them all. The little fish, Teddy, a jack-in-the-box and Mr Dinosaur. Have you remembered them? Yes. <laughs> OK. You just have to go outside for a moment. I'll call you when I'm ready. It sounds like Daddy is going upstairs. And now he is coming down again. All right. You can come back inside now. <laughs> One thing is missing from the table. Do you know what? Mr Dinosaur is there. Little fish, Jack in a box. So who's missing? Um, Teddy! That's right. Teddy's gone. Well done, Pepper and George. It was quite easy for us. We are famous detectives. Ah, but that's only half the mystery. Where has Teddy gone? Oh, I don't know. What are those little things on the floor? They're cake crumbs. The magnifying glass makes the cake crumbs easy to see. I wonder if Teddy has been eating cake. And the crumbs lead this way. Teddy's been eating a lot of cake. The crumbs lead into Peppa and George's bedroom. Oh, the crumbs have stopped. How can we find Teddy? Ask me some questions, but I will only answer yes or no. OK. Um, is Teddy in this room? Yes. Is Teddy in George's bed? No. Is Teddy somewhere high up? Yes. <laughs> Teddy's in my bed. Hooray! The mystery is solved. <laughs> oh, oh, do you still want to be a detective when you grow up, Peppa? Being a detective is quite hard. <laughs> Next time, I want to be the one who makes the mysteries. Like you did, Daddy. <laughs> <laughs> the fire engine. Mummy Pig is dressed as a fireman. <laughs> Mummy, why are you dressed like that? I'm going to the Mummy's fire engine practice. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's just a good excuse for a cup of tea and a chat. Well, what are you doing today, Daddy Pig? I've got a very important meeting with the Daddy's football team. <laughs> That's just a lot of grown-up boys kicking a football around. <laughs> We're having a barbecue as well. Here are Mr Bull, Mr Rabbit, Mr Pony and Mr Zebra. Oh, it's Daddy Pig coming out to play. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, can we see the fire engine? Yes. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> this is Miss Rabbit's fire station. Hello, Pepper and George. Come and see the fire engine. Wow. Fire engine. There's a ladder for climbing, a hose for squirting water and a big bell to ring. Ding dong, ding dong. <laughs> now, let's go up the tower and look for fires. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Peppa. Hello, Hello, George. Ah, oh, who's for a nice cup of tea and a chat? That sounds nice. Ooh, a telephone. Peppa, that is the fire phone. It's only to be used when there's a fire. Ah! Fire! Fire! Fire station! Where's the fire? Where's the fire? Can I speak to Mummy Pig, please? Oh, it's Daddy Pig. <gasps> Daddy Pig, you're not supposed to ring on this phone. It's only for emergencies. This is an emergency. I can't find the tomato ketchup anywhere. Daddy Pig, shall I light the barbecue now? Yes, please, Mr Rabbit. Do be careful with the barbecue, Daddy Pig. Trust me, Mummy Pig. We daddies know all about barbecues. Bye. Maybe it needs more charcoal. Give it a bit of a blow. Put a few more fire lighters on. 
Now, we just have to wait for a fire. How long do we have to wait? Oh, it could be a long time. I've been waiting ages. How many fires have you actually put out, Miss Rabbit? Uh, none. Not one fire. But you've got to be ready. It's the fire phone. Oh, can you answer it, Pepper? It'll probably be your daddy again. OK. Hello, fire station. Hello, Pepper. Oh, daddy, it is you. You're very naughty. This phone is for fires only. Uh, can you put Miss Rabbit on, please? There's a good girl. Daddy wants to speak to you. Hello, Daddy Pig. This phone is only to be used when there's a... Fire! Fire! Oh, dear. Daddy Pig's barbecue is on fire. Fire! Fire! Bobby's to the rescue! Whee! 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 Hold tight. Whee! 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 <laughs> It's Miss Rabbit's fire engine. Yay! Stand back, Daddies! Mummy Dog, turn on the water. Aye, aye, Mummy Pig. The fire is out. Hooray! Hooray! Thank you for saving us, Miss Rabbit. No problem. It's all part of the service. The, the Mummy's Fire Engine Service. <laughs> and now that Miss Rabbit has kindly flooded our garden, we can all jump up and down in muddy puddles. Yes! <laughs> I love fire engines, especially when they make muddy puddles. <laughs>